as, uh, as you said, the style of this lane isn't going to be pretty for Farter. Yeah, he really needs to kind of rely on stacks and... And look, what, see? What? Is he just... No, he's got another one! He's going to do it! One more! No, he's got it! First blood for Farter! He just loses his life! Well, I think that's worth it any day of the week. Yeah. <laughs> Bold move by him. Nice uh, Orb of Venom pickup and kind of trying to kill Fata before he's level 2. Or has, has a stun at all. Oh my goodness. That's Punishing the kind of the stuff green, you want man. to see from this Ursa mid. Yeah. I think that's already boost for him too. So if you want to keep with the pressure, boost is much, much better than a bottle because Fata, he has to go his bottle oh. first before getting... So lane, he got the fish out now. Kaka, he's going to complete the wall with his body and Lennon, but ah, oh, Bunker Chalk can still go the walk around. In fact, they've all the clocks. Oh, works here, and Kaka, one more punch, the South, he's never much oh, okay, South keeps him a lot of the oh, mid lane, we just can't take our eyes off mid lane, because CTY is just throwing himself at the Ursa, he, <laughs> sorry, at the Alchemist, he's killed him again, oh my goodness, if they can get the set up here, with a nice chance, Fada, he's in a lot of trouble, there is Jarek Sib, but it, he's got the corner embrace, the three heroes hanging around, can they still go for it, yeah, they'll go back in, stuns himself there, couldn't get it out, because of the cold embrace timing, oh, disaster for Liquid, in the mid lane. Okay, so we've got the Radiance up on Fata. So as we were mentioning earlier, a very different kind of build to what he did in game one. Do you think this could potentially be the answer to dealing with the position there in top lane? Kroki just chomped down by CTY. With the Manta, there's a slight hope for Liquid. They can keep uh, getting up farm. And in the jungle, Matumba Man going for the TP. This time it will not work! The damage for CTY! Uh, okay, Courier as well. Courier as well there for the uh, Ursa and CTY. Wrapping around the Sigil, spotting it out. I mean, this is just the two on Liquid. Jumping with the Warriors punch onto Matumba. He's getting himself out at the shards here, but Mind Control. He's a nice blast to the face. So they'll get the clock once again. Matumba is still hanging around. Goes for the Omni Slash onto Kaka, but the Glimmer Cave's there. He'll walk it off now with the mech. The Omni Slash is just not going to do enough. The Gold Cold Shiver, the Snowball comes in. Winter's Curse, the Snowball's going to be held oh. on here. Turns to Matumba Man. Maybe they could do it here. They found one CGY through. Love wants to be giving touch around. Oh, the Matumba Man, the Glory Brace is there for Jarax. He's going to live. 11 and Old Chicken trying to do it. Old Chicken just frontlining. Moving for Matumba Man. Matumba Man gets himself forced out here. Fada, being slowed up by the Viper, Old Chicken trying to move forward here, Lanham as well, Blink in from 11, looking for a Snowball Stun, will get it, he's got the Shards as well, throws him out of the corner place once again, keep it alive, Fada, Jack just saving his team, CG White came in from the side, managed to finish off Froki on the Undying, Fada trying to man fight this, he may just die here, the Ice Blast coming through, but Fada, oh, he gets himself out of the Ice Blast, doesn't matter, they'll still find the kill, Old Chicken getting forced forward, they want him to try and get Matuma Man, again, Jarek's with the cold Embrace, but Jarek's himself dies, Matuma Man's been left, it's a buyback from Jarek, the buyback from Fada here as well, now and they're going to get themselves out both incredibly low here, but e -home's still finding a very, very good kill there. Old Chicken in 11, looking to finish off Roche. Rocket Flare will spot it out, but this is a point as well with Jarex is now down for 75 seconds. Did of course buy back in that last fight. Mind Control moving forward with the smoke. Oh, 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 okay. I mean, it's flashy. I don't know if it matters. Um, it, it, it was flashy though, I'll give him that. I'll give him that. Like, whatever, I didn't have a slut anyways. <laughs> Trying to move in with the Omni Sassa to Old Chicken, but Old Chicken sliding around here. The Abyssal Blade from Fada though, locking him in place. Fishing comes out with Kaka. Now there's a hook shot from Mind Control. Pushing back Lana, the Snowball though, across and they've already lost the dirge here. Old Chicken with the BKB looking for Fada. Oh. Of course she gets thrown out here. Matuma Man trying to move in with the BKB. Hasn't quite got the damage though. Ice Blast being Radiant flown across the fight. And Eleven moves in. Warish punch on the Matuma Man. Blade fearing himself away that his joke. Fada trying to move back here. Jarex getting the slow out onto CTY, but CTY he's trapped in the cold team with Mind Control, but he just turns onto the clock and takes down Mind Control. They did manage to find the melee racks on the top lane as well now. So this is getting harder and harder for the side of Liquid to defend. Two sets of melees down. e -home's still pretty strong. They're going to be happy hanging around here. And 40 seconds on clock. 30 seconds on and dying. No buybacks. Yeah. Radiant. I mean, they, they have such good, uh, like, terrain control too, with the Fissure and the... Ice Shards, Fada was almost locked into that fight, and you don't want to be locked in the cage with Urza Bear. Okay, and this is going to be tier around the bottom. They are going to have the Undying back, but Liquid, they need an insane team fight to do this. Oh, Chicken Pops the BKB, Fada gets the Abyssal down, CTY jumps onto Jarek, so Jarek's down to fight, Ice Blast flies onto Fada, the damage as well from Old Chicken, they'll lose the Alchemist here, Omni Slash comes out from Matuma Man, but it's not enough to kill anyone here, bounces around, now they're all converged on him, Mike Control hook shots back in, but he doesn't stop the aggression of E-Home, they're 3-4 down, GG!
is called an e-home takedown liquid 2-0. 58 minutes in, they took their time with it at Liquid. They did their darndest to hold the base, but it just wasn't enough at the end of the day. That might be the solution to Alchemist. Hopefully we start uh, Samir, <laughs> just running at him and killing him at one minute mark, two minute mark and three. It was, yeah. It, the Ursa from CTY was, was absolutely on point. Ends the game 27-6-4.